Hello, hello, hello everyone, this is me, Mr. Ethereach, and my friend, Mr. Smart Contract Teach, and this is our regular show, Cryptocurrency Not For Dummies. We liked your past comments, so we decided to get together again. Well, yes, if you liked our last episode, we are here to talk about a hot topic that interests everyone today, Layer 2 Solutions. Well, let's get started. Roll the intro. The essence of the optimistic rollup is that when a user wants to withdraw his funds from the layer 2 optimistic solution, he makes a withdrawal request from the protocol in which he indicates the amount he wants to withdraw. Seemingly he can do it, and no one can stop him. But due to the fact that this protocol works optimistically, we suspect that most likely the user is right, but maybe he's not, therefore the protocol requires a certain amount of time for the funds to withdraw from the protocol. If suddenly something goes wrong, for example, the user cheats and cannot withdraw money because he does not have it on optimistic rollup, so that in a week or a few days while the Ethereum withdrawal payment is frozen, another participant or a provider node can say that this dude is cheating and has no funds. And this is the biggest inconvenience of the optimistic rollup. It takes a certain amount of time to withdraw funds. You need some kind of cyclicality in order to protect the correctness of all transactions within this protocol. You need a validation period. If we look at zero-knowledge proof rollup, then the point is that at every certain time providers publish a state on the Ethereum node that displays information about every balance. And their status. The status of the VM of this CKP rollup on layer 2 solution is. Roughly speaking, there is such a trick. To run programs on layer 2 solution, you need some transactions that the VM machine calculates, collects some information, validates and creates a large number of transactions, but the trick is that zero-knowledge proof allows all the amount of information that is in the rollup to be combined into one proof, which can be confirmed in one block on Ethereum. This is a giant optimization. The thing is, it takes more time to count all the transactions than to prove that they are all done correctly. Thus, it is easier to prove that everything is done correctly on a layer 2 solution rollup than to calculate it all. It's easier to say, I swear by my mom. I swear by my mother. Yeah, I swear by my mom that the block is correct. Yeah, yeah. It turns out that when withdrawing funds from this zero-knowledge proof rollup, a user does not need to wait a week. He can wait literally a few minutes for a certain number of Ethereum blocks to be confirmed. Layer 1 solution itself will allow a user to withdraw money from this rollup. There it's much more user-friendly. But there is a minus to confirm ZKP on Layer 1. A certain amount of gas is required. And the more transactions there are on Layer 2, the more gas is required for Layer 1. And gas, as we know, is currently expensive. Yes. To confirm a large number of transactions on ZKP rollups, you need to occupy the entire block on layer 1 solution of Ethereum itself. So in order to prove 10k transactions in a ZKP block, you need to take one whole block of Ethereum, which is very expensive. It turns out to be the cheapest for users, but not for free. There's no such thing as a free lunch. You see, gas is expensive not only in Ukraine, 